finally, oh my goodness, you guys, I'm not sure if I should even go live tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, oh, all right, let me get settled in here um, and get this shared to all the right places, and I will tell you guys the first couple minutes of this live, what's been happening with me. Um, I hope everybody's having a good Friday night, but I'm telling you guys, maybe I shouldn't be going live tonight, especially since I have a knife in my craft room for my craft tonight. It's going to be um, a little sketchy, I think. Okay, so apparently I, oh, there we go. Okay, I was going to say, apparently I can't sprinkle. Hi, Missy. All right, Missy, you got to look out for me tonight, girl, because things are a little, little bit crazy right now. Just, just a little bit. Um, you guys are gonna crack up when you hear kind of what's been what's been happening with me. Hey, Kristen, how are you? Okay, I'm gonna try to. Um, I'm going to try to. I think I, I've sprinkled it to a couple of my pages. I know. No, hey Lisa, I carry, I know, put the knife away, <laughs> put it away, especially when you guys hear. Okay, so, all right, let me turn the volume down and turn the comments on so I can see you guys. All right, now I can, I can pretty much read it. Hi Lisa, how are you? Okay, so first things first, <laughs> I went to go pick up a bag that was on my floor in my craft room um, to get the supplies for this. And when I picked it up, this little black thing kind of slithered. I mean, it was like this long, like not very big. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a worm. Like it must be an inchworm or something. No, no, I think it was a baby snake, which we don't have in the house. Like we don't have snakes in the house or baby snakes. It wasn't even near a vent, which means that it's been in my craft room and it had slithered its way, or maybe it was attached to the bottom of the bag. Maybe I set it on the ground brought it in the house, but that bag has been here for a couple of days. So I got a little um, dustpan and a thing, and I scooped it up in the dustpan, took a quick photo, sent it to my husband, threw it outside. And then I go to go live here, and I realize I'm on my boutique's Facebook page, which I share this to the boutique, but, I, you know, I always go live from my Chalk With Mia page. And so, anyway, so then that happened, and then Facebook wouldn't let me go live. So, anyways... It's been a little crazy. I know you guys. So, okay. On to the crafting, which is why you guys are here. So, another um, another thing we're going to do tonight. I, I was laughing earlier. I was like, I should have literally just called my page Let's Wing It. Because, again, I have never done this craft. Um, I saw a YouTube video of it, and I fell in love with it. And I said, oh, yeah, let's, let's go for that. And... Um, I have been waiting for my Dollar Tree to get these in. They're foam carvable pumpkins. And for me, locally, it was a little hard to find, to be honest. Um, but I finally found a Dollar Tree that had them, so I bought four of them. Um, but so cute, uh, I thought we could try this. So uh, what you need to do, and this is just, um, you know, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree pumpkins. Um all right, so I have a knife, and it's a pretty dull knife, to be honest with you. I don't have my Cutco knives in here because oh, those bad boys are sharp. All right, so I'm just going to carve away. They're meant, this foam is, is, you know, they're the little carvable pumpkins. So I am just cutting. Oh, cover your ears. Oh, my gosh. Oops. Cover your ears, people. Okay, so, oh, that thing was on a little toothpick. I didn't even realize. Okay, so it's empty on the inside. There's nothing on the inside, okay? Um, yeah, this year, I don't know if it's just because, and I'm gonna put a hole in the bottom, too. Um, I can't stand that noise. So I'm trying to lessen the opportunity for it. Um, they, I've called around to so many different Dollar Trees. I finally found it in Newport News. And the funny thing is, is I almost missed them. 
So I went around, I looked everywhere for them in the dollar store, could not find them. I had one item in my cart and I was like, you know what? I don't want to buy just this one item. So I was returning that item to the section and then I walked by them. So it's kind of meant to be. Um, but anyway, so all you do is you're cutting a hole on the top and on the bottom. Um, and then what I went to do is I went to the thrift store and if you can find sweaters or uh, stretchy pants or anything that has a design or a pattern to it that you like, um, then get it because that's what we're going to use to wrap this around with. Hi, Diane. Hi, Kimberly. If you guys feel so inclined to sprinkle the love, I would appreciate it. Okay, so um, this one I liked because it kind of had that cabling look to it. And this one I liked because I really wanted to find one of those white cabled sweaters because they look so cute, those pumpkins. Um, but this one had a little bit of a gold, I don't think you guys can see it, but a little bit um, of a gold flex to it. It has kind of a gold flex to it, which is kind of nice. And so um, anyway, so I thought we would try two of them. Now, one thing that you can do, hi, Heather, one thing that you can do, um, let me turn my hot glue gun on. I hope I'm going to have enough hot glue. Um, if not, I've got a secondary glue gun I can use. Um, is you can paint your pumpkins, which I'm going to do really quick. Um, just slap some white paint because if you have a sweater that has uh, some of the cabling in it and it's you can see through it, you're gonna this orange is going to pop through, and you don't really want that. You want well, you might. I don't know. You might want it. It might give it a really cool effect. I don't. I want kind of a a more uh, softer color popping through. So I'm just taking some paint and you can take spray paint, whatever you want. And I'm just slapping it, acrylic paint, spray paint, anything will really do. You're really just doing it to cover up that orange as much as possible. And these are actually a little bit smaller than I had thought but they are so cute and you can, this way you can do any color you want um, and they're no sew. You just need a little hot glue gun or something to help it stick on the top and the bottom, which is nice. I mean, I kept finding uh, sew pumpkins, you know, with light sewing or, which, you know, I know how to sew, but I know not everybody who watches me knows how to sew or wants to sew even hand stitching. And so I just kept trying to think of ways to do this. And I came across this video and it was great. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Hi, Janet. Hi, Elisa. Heather, I am doing well. If you guys didn't hear, um, I started my live, I was prepping and I found a baby snake in my craft room. Like I'm not talking, I'm talking, when I say baby snake, like I thought it was an inchworm. And then I saw how it was moving and I was like, oh, that is not of the worm family. That is, he's a little too, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. So I immediately, my husband's out with friends and so I immediately texted him and he was like, yeah, tell me when you move. <laughs> tell me the, house, the new house address. <laughs> which was cracking me up. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I threw him outside because I just, I couldn't, I couldn't kill the little guy. He was so little. Um, but I don't want him in my craft room, I can tell you that. I'm getting this paint all over me. All over me. Um, and again, if you have a sweater that's pretty thick or a, a fabric that's pretty thick, I also have some material here Um that I thought maybe we could try by stuffing the top and the bottom with uh, the material into the holes and maybe that would work. Um, so we're gonna try a couple of different things. I'm not promising that any of these things are gonna work. <laughs> I'm just promising that I'm gonna give it a try and then you guys, as always, are gonna learn from my mistakes and um, and then do what you, what you need to do to make it work for you. I promise you that it does work um, because I watched somebody do it on YouTube. I'm just not going to promise you that I can be as thrifty or as good as that person and make it work. <laughs> but 
but I am willing to try. Okay. Oh, a chenille bedspread would look great. That's a great idea. I like that. Yeah, anything that you guys have, you don't mind um, cutting up, right? Anything like that. Okay, we're just gonna get this to dry. Ooh. A little bit of the orange is coming through, but I think it's much better. It's less than it was. And this is one reason why I use the chalk mineral paint, Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint, because it dries so quickly for me. I'm trying to put this back on the hook. Man, my eye hand, I'm telling you guys, this is why I should maybe not go on live tonight because my eye hand coordination is off. My, um, I'm finding snakes in my craft room. I mean, it's not good. It just is not good. All right, we're going to try this one first and we're going to use the arms, the arms of the sweater. And they've said if you can make it about halfway around that it should be big enough. So... I have no idea how much of it I'm going to need, so I am just going to cut pretty far up, and then we can always cut it down if we need to. Um, again, because this is the first time I've ever done this, so again, we are learning together. I'm going to end up changing my page to, let's wing it. Let's wing it, people. Okay, so this is the sleeve of the sweater. What's nice about it is it automatically automatically creates a tube for you so you don't have to connect any sides of the fabric that's what's so great about pants or legs or anything like that so um oops there's still a few wet spots let's hit that dryer just a little bit more it's almost dry Again, I'm here hopefully to just inspire the craft and you guys can do a version of um, if you want. And then I have a bunch of different things that we can add to the top of it for the stem, some different ideas for the stem for you guys. So this will be fun. All right. And if you guys want to join my free crafting group, just type the word craft in the comments and um, you should be sent a link. And if not, I'll check afterwards. And I will send you the link if it didn't send it to you already. Okay, so, oh yeah, I think it looks better with the white underneath rather than the orange. And you, I didn't really need a whole lot of that sleeve. Look at that, because these guys are kind of small. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, now the lady on the video had cut it kind of close and hot glued all this down, but you know what, I'm thinking, I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna stuff it in. And then we can close it up and we can paint this white. And that way when we close it up, there's no real disparaging, dis disparaging, disparaging of the orange and the blue. Okay, so look at this, you guys. How cute, do you love it? Type the word pumpkin in the comments if you guys love this so far. Um, and if you guys are not getting the link for my crafting group, it's Southern Willow Crafting, I will send you one later. But thank you for requesting to join. Okay, so now I do need to paint. Oh, this thing is on a toothpick, it's like. Okay. Yay! I'm glad you guys are liking this. Oh, all right. So let's paint these. All right, and the tops and the bottoms. And then I'll show you guys what I was thinking about for the stem. Now you can do a couple of different things for the stem. I've seen people take actual like tree limbs out of their yard that are kind of thick and just sticking it right on top and then some leaves or something. So you can do that. Oh, thanks guys, I appreciate the love. Thank you. All right, so I'm just adding some color to these little pieces. Again, you might want to be a little bit more careful than I was when you when we cut the top um, and the bottom, just so that we make sure it's a it's an actual piece. Um, but we're gonna try to make this work. The great thing is, is it's a carvable pumpkin, 
And so it, you know, we can mold it. We can mold it. Okay. So, or I guess I could have used the other side. Duh. <laughs> Why didn't anybody recommend that? <laughs> Missy, where are you when I need you? Okay, so, oh, look at that. Okay, so that fits really well, right? Um, and then what we can do is we've got our little stubby here, right? So we can do a couple of different things. We can take rope and we can wrap it around this little stubby thing. It's not gonna wrap very, very far because this is very short. So what I was thinking is we can take some wire, right? And I think this is what the girl did in her video. And she created almost like a thing that would sit up and then wrapped burlap around it. So let's try that. Flowers, yes. Okay, great, good idea, Kristen. Of the felt in a, oh, felt would be good. Okay, Missy, that's a great idea. You see, you guys, you got your brains going. All right, so I do have, and I'm loving this. Okay, so I have this leaf garland that I've had for a really long time um, that we could do, but that's really big, and I'm not liking the color. Um, we can always cut it down, but I'm not liking that for this one, okay? But I do have some of our little harvesting and some of these that were Dollar Tree along with some of my greenery. We have some ribbon, a little bit of everything. So let's take some of these and see what we can do. Good idea, people. And I probably do have a piece of felt um, paper that's very similar to the color of this sweater. Look at that, okay. And again, my colors may not be beautifully matched, but I'm hoping that what you get is the idea and the concept and you guys can then run with it. Okay, let's take that. I actually kind of like the yellow with that. That's really pretty. Let's see if we can then take one of these. And then, right, maybe a little bit of greenery. Well, the green doesn't really match. Okay, so let's take that. All right, and then let's take some of this wire, okay? And we are gonna try to create something kind of big. Oh, these, this wire, okay, there we go. All right, <clears throat> so this is where, and look, you can even add lace. So I have lace and you could add some lace coming off of it. Um, especially if you did like one of those, I can imagine with the cream uh, sweaters, adding some lace and then having the lace just come out of it with a stem in the middle, a wood stem in the middle of it. That would be very farmhouse chic, um, very cute. Okay, so I've got my ring here. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna poke with our little stem here to make this bigger. We're just gonna poke it into the foam, because it's foam. So I'm taking that wire and I'm poking it right into, and it's coming out the other end actually, which is kind of, kind of neat, it went all the way through. This side's not being as complimentary. Okay, so We are going to, and I might end up taking some of that lace. Oops, I should have done it the other way. And, nope, and um, adding to it because that teal is kind of a pretty color for lace too. All right guys, sorry. I'm trying just to make this. All right, and I'm gonna hot glue 
this bad boy. And you could take E6000, you could take hot glue. I don't think a glue dot would be enough um, for this. But, oops, sorry guys. All right, so what I've done is I've taken some florals, oops, and I've taken the little stem that was on here and I have hot glued it with this little thing coming out. And what we can do then is we can take, where's my other ribbons? Okay, so I've got like a burlap ribbon with, um, oh, here, here's this other ribbon. I also have, I have so many things, you guys. Look at these leaves. We could even add a little leaf coming off if they're not too big, whatever it is. But I've got this burlap that I had. And what we can do is, and I'm going to just glue it, start to glue it down on this base. So this way we do cover up some of the white. My glue stick is getting low. Okay, some glue, and we're gonna add some, we're gonna hold this down. You can use popsicle sticks if you don't wanna lose your fingerprints like I have. <laughs> you can use popsicle sticks to help hold this down um, to the area. I do like the little burlap-y look. Now this is a little fall. To be honest, if I had uh, lamb's ear or something else, um, I probably should have looked at my florals a little bit better before I came live, but you guys are getting the idea. All right, I need to find my other glue gun, I think, because I'm going to run out of glue here. And this is going to help us cover up that green little stem. And we're hoping that this is going to be enough to hold this as I wrap it around. And we create kind of a bunched stem off of this but again just um tree branches tree stems whatever it is would work too small tree branches were great i did those last fall and it's super cute with a simple jute now tied around the stick yes exactly see janet great minds think alike but i love how quick and easy this is and that you can choose really any color you want um, because you can just find old sweaters you already have. You could find old flannel shirts. Um, I mean, really the possibilities are endless. Old flannel shirts would be so cute, right? All different types and colors. I love that idea. All right, we're gonna hold this down. Yeah, I'm not liking my floral choices. I might end up pulling those out. I think I'm going to pull those out and we're just going to go with the burlapy um, thing here. I think I'll look cute with just a burlap ribbon, but you guys get the idea and you can play with it and make it your own. All right, we're going to glue and I'll do the other one too so you guys can see it. And maybe what we'll do is we'll add some lace to this one. Since we mentioned that earlier and we thought that would be really cute uh, with this teal. So right now, like I said, I'm just taking um, hot glue, removing my fingerprints. <laughs> this is just a floral wire or, uh, you know, crafting wire. Okay. And I'm just trying to get it to hold the base. Uh, the top part can just kind of linger because we'll tie that off, I think but I just need the base to stick. There we go. So I'm just adding glue. And you can make this as wonky or as uniformed as you want. Okay. You can use the jute rope um, or maybe even the lace itself for this. I don't think I need it that big. We're gonna tone this down just a little bit. My cat is crying. I think he's a little terrified from the snake I found. <laughs> what good is he? He did not attack. He just sat there and looked at it like, that's a little strange. <laughs> what's, what's up with that, mama? Okay. All right, guys, so. 
do you have small cream or white flowers? Um, I probably do, but it's upstairs, but I like the idea. So see, you guys are, you guys are thinking and you're getting your ideas going. Um, that is exactly, I was thinking fall. And so I grabbed kind of my fall items, but you're absolutely right. Like I think with this one, especially because of the teal or you can go coastal with it. I mean, so many different, different things, right? Okay, so I've just kind of wrapped that around, made it a very, very funky type of little stem. It's probably a little thick, so we could, oh, what if we did that and just pulled it tight and then glued it? Oh, that's even cuter. Okay, that's what we're doing. How do I lose my scissors? You guys, I need, like, literally, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached half of the time. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're gonna then draw a little bit of glue here on the side to hold this down. Again, and this is just let your creativity go wild and let you, you know, like I'm doing, I'm kind of just playing around and one thing's not working, so I'm shifting and trying something else. There really is no right or wrong way to do it. It's just whatever you like and whatever works for you. Um, now, if you wanted to, you could probably pin that down in it. All right, so I've got two different laces, I think. I don't know if these are going to work, but we're going to see. We're going to see how this goes. This is a pen. Let me put the pen in the cardboard so that doesn't roll around. See, I'm learning. I'm learning, Missy. I'm learning. I also have this baking twine from the Dollar Tree, which are really pretty. It's uh, yellow, orange, and brown, um, which are nice fall colors. So that works well. And if you wanted to, we could, yeah, you just cut. Look at the, how cute this is gonna be. And I'm gonna just stuff it underneath so that we can get look at that and you just add as much or as little as you want oh you know what i've got a little bit of that wire here i can loop it through right look at a little bit of lace and you can add a couple of them in different areas now that maybe this lace is too thick and you just like just a strand of it, whatever, whatever works. What are you guys thinking so far? Do you like it? Are you thinking, mm, nope, Mia, this one's a Pinterest fail for me. <laughs> and that's okay too. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's see if I can get that glue stick. It doesn't like it when it's low. I don't have another stick behind it, pushing it through. Okay. Cute idea. Thanks, Missy. Okay. There we go. We're just gonna let this just kind of tumble. But yeah. Oh, no, nope, that doesn't look so good. Maybe we'll just keep the one. Maybe we'll just keep the one for this one. Okay, so there's one pumpkin, super cute. And we can, you can either leave the bottom like this or like Missy and others were saying earlier, you can um, find some felt, you can replug it and maybe um, paint it, whatever it is. But super cute for pumpkin number one. I love it, okay. So, and I had some other fabrics here too that we could try because I just wasn't certain, like I told you guys, wing it. We are going to wing it because I had so many ideas floating through my head and I was like, you know what, we're just gonna try this. This is gonna be fun. All right, so the other one and this one, again, we're gonna try, oh, look, see that one came out really well. All right, let's move this one up here. If you guys, just let you guys know, if you want to be notified when I go live, you can text your name and the word notify me to this number. 
757-505-0303. And I try to send out um, notifications when I'm going to go live, just in case you don't uh, follow my page or, you know, don't get those types of notifications, you will get a text message, which is kind of fun. All right, Missy, are you closing your eyes? <laughs> Missy always keeps me straight. The other night I wanted to have an open flame in here and she's like, do not have an open flame in your craft room. I'm like, come on, Missy. <laughs> like, you, you can, I'll be okay. Oh, that, it's like fingers on a chalkboard. So that's probably the biggest warning label I can give you is if you don't like that, get somebody else to cut the, the stem off for you. Okay. All right, it's, it's in there and I can't, I'm not gonna cut the bottom this time. I'm thinking I may not have to. That, let's try to do it with just maybe a smaller knife. <laughs> Maybe a dull knife, a really dull knife. Okay, so for this one, we're doing the sleeve of this. It's actually kind of a pretty sweater, but um, we're gonna try to just do it with cutting the top. And because the sweater has two sleeves, you could do two pumpkins <laughs> per sweater, or maybe even cut the middle of it. Or if you have a sweater with a cow neck, that would give you even extra fabric to do this, so, you know, tons of ideas. Now this one, you can see a little bit of that orange coming through. It's not, oh yeah, I do need to cut the bottom because we gotta stuff there, because it's open. Sorry guys, I wasn't thinking. We, got, we wanna stuff it on the bottom too. This is a very dull knife, just letting y'all know. But it is a knife, so if you do this with kids, please cut it for the kids. Um, don't give them a knife. All right, so we're gonna stuff all the excess in this hole. And again, you can, the way she did it on her live was she had just cut it barely enough to go on the edge and then she had glue gun, you know, glued it um, in place. But, you know, you can just take an extra piece of that fabric, oops. I just pushed that really far in. An extra piece of that fabric and cover up that hole, okay? Um, so whatever works. Oh, look at this, you guys. We have enough up here if we wanted to. We could, I don't know. We could have used some of that at the top. Okay. Use a fillet knife. There you go. Roland, where are you when I need you? <laughs> Yeah, Zach, thank you. <laughs> Zach's my nephew. He knows. He's probably sitting there like Missy is going, oh, for the dear love of God who gave that woman a knife. Um, but, you know, hey, that's the way crafting goes. Okay, so we've got this. We're going to, for this one now, because it's cream colored, and you guys, I, I, if it was me, I would probably, um, I don't want you guys to have to sit and wait, watch me paint another pumpkin. Um, I just wanted to give you the idea of what to do. But this one, I probably would paint. Um, it's just giving a little hint of the orange. It's actually not bad. So that would be up to you. Um, but just something to think about. Okay, with the greenery, see there's something about that greenery. That's like boxwood greenery. I don't think I like that greenery. Let's check these leaves. These leaves might be pretty, the orange and the maroon ones. Okay, we're gonna try a little bit of that. Let's see here. Let's give it a little bit of a stem to work with. We're gonna cut an orange one. And again, you guys, it's whatever you like and want to do. I'm gonna cut some of this one. Cute. And we do have a yellow one. I'm not sure how I feel about the yellow one, but maybe we can hide it underneath. Okay, so we have that. I also have, like I said, I've got, I've got this little banner. I think I got this from the Target dollar bin, which is cute. 
which I could totally chalk on one of these and put thankful, um, blessed, whatever, put a little turkey on it, whatever we've got, right? And I could have that setting out. A lot of ideas there. So there are those ideas. Let me think. Again, just whatever you got, whatever is working or not working. <laughs> it might just take some playing around to see what you like and what you don't. And again, I mean, it's very, very frou-frou. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stick this back on the top with the toothpick, right? And let me see, I think this rope, I think I've got other, oh, I've got smaller rope. Okay, I've got smaller jute. That might be too small. I've got this. Oops. I think this would be good. This is very, very small, um, 0.45 pound jute rope that we can then start to wrap around the toothpick. I know you guys can't see me here. Let me see if I can turn this around so you guys can see it. I should have added all the floral after, right? I'm gonna wrap this around a couple of times. And then what you can do is start to hot glue gun it. Or maybe I can do that, you know what I can do? I can do it before. Ha! I'm telling you guys, sometimes working it out on a live with you guys makes me think through the process faster and better than I would if it was just me sitting in my craft room doing it. Because I feel the pressure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you guys ready for this weekend? I'm so ready for this weekend. Top to plug the hole. It's just the cut out, the styrofoam that I cut out. So we're gonna to try to cover it up with the jute rope. Um, so I'm gonna add some hot glue around. I know I have to have more hot glue. Hold on guys, let me see if I can find my other hot glue gun because and hot glue guns heat up or heat up pretty quickly. I thought I had another one. If not, hold on, guys. Stick with me for a minute. Do, 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 do. I also have white rope. White rope would work too. Oh, what did I do with it? I just had it the other day because I was just thinking, I'm gonna need that extra hot glue gun. Oh, you know what I did with it? It's right here. Now I remember. Okay. We are gonna plug this in. Woo! Okay, we're gonna give that a second to heat up. But we're gonna wrap this jute rope around the stem and then add it to that to the base here. And hopefully that will work. Okay. If you guys wanna sprinkle the love, I know I'm a hot mess express tonight, but I told you guys right before I went live, I knew I shouldn't have done this because um, <laughs> the way it all started. I bet you do, but you organized and forgot where you're you're probably right. Yes, Missy. And well, especially with the other um, hot glue, because I know I had more glue sticks for that sure bonder that I have. Okay, it's starting to heat up. I know I do. I just don't know what I did with that. I don't think I've been through all of them yet. Because, and I mean, I have tons of glue sticks, but the problem is, is that glue gun takes a particular glue stick. And so... I thought I may have used them all. I never know. Hmm. Oh, no, there's one. Of course, I find it afterwards, right? Okay, we'll have both of them. Plug it in for a bit. This one's still got some heat to it, so we'll use this one until the other one heats up. I knew I had another stick. 
All right. Now, because this jute rope is a little small, but I think if I went any larger, to be honest with you guys, it would be too big. <laughs> okay, Bobette. Sounds good. We will definitely talk. I'm working at the boutique tomorrow, um, but, you know, I'll be around. I will be around. Hi, Carolee. How are you? I am making fabric pumpkins. Thank you. So this one, so if you guys are just joining us while I'm waiting for this to heat up, Dollar Tree has these really cute, if you can find them in my area, it was a little difficult. They also have them on their website, but you have to buy them in like a quantity of four or eight and then the shipping and it just, it's not that overly expensive, but they're really cute carvable pumpkins. So I painted one white and did this one and now I'm doing the cream one and I'm using old sweaters that I bought from the thrift store. So makes it really nice. Maybe this one's all heated up, ready to go. Yeah, there we go. We're on a roll now, people. Watch out. Okay, so now I'm just adding, um, we're gonna try to cover up that hole I created by stuffing it with the florals. Now, um, if you're just joining me, I've said I'm not in love with the florals for this one. I think maybe a lamb's ear, or uh, a wood stick actually, a nice thick wood stick from my yard with some lace coming out of it would be super pretty. Um, I just didn't plan that far in advance, unfortunately. So, or I wasn't thinking, I was thinking this would look, and it's one of those things that you have a, an idea in your head and then when you go to do it, sometimes it doesn't, craft out like you thought it would, right? And so in my head, these were very pretty fall colors to go with my fall pumpkins. But um, in reality, they look okay. Um, they're, they're okay, cute. They're not, you know, I'm not uh, dying over those leaves and floral, but I like the idea of it. And so now that I have two other pumpkins, you can bet your bottom dollar, I am going to be trying other things. Um, and I'm going to try the fa uh, fabric one uh, before I get off so that you guys can kind of see what that looks like. Um, and this is wrapping pretty well. Just a couple more wraps and then that will be done. And we're just taking some hot glue wrap. Hot glue. It's kind of similar to the coasters that we made with jute rope. Do you guys remember that? We made um, nautical themed. That was when I was just came back from the beach and I was all nautical themed out. Like I was like, woohoo, we're gonna do so many nautical things with seashells and jute rope and coasters and all that stuff. And so um, it's very similar to that. You're just wrapping and going, wrapping and going. Again, if you don't wanna lose your fingerprints like I have with hot glue, you can most definitely use a popsicle stick or something else to help mash the uh, fabric or whatever it is you're working with, the jute rope, down versus using your fingers. But I've pretty much lost my fingerprints at this point, so no use in trying to save them. Okay, so now we just cut, again, where are my scissors? We're gonna cut this top and push that down. Okay, so now that's done. We're gonna push this in in just a moment, but I wanna add a little bit of the jute rope to this because, um, sorry, my cord on my hot glue gun is a little short. Um, I'm just adding some hot glue. Yeah, you can just sit there. And we're gonna add, just again, wrapping that jute rope in a circle, trying to cover up any of this white styrofoam. See, so we're just going in a circle. But I do like this fabric. It's a shame you guys can't see all the, but it's got these little gold um, flexes in the sweater, which make it really pretty. Okay, all right, we can cut this. 
I've got more hot glue gun around me. Okay. And we're gonna push this back down. All right, you guys. Oops, did I? Okay, so look at how cute the jute rope did, just wrapping it around. I'm actually not minding this as much anymore. It's it's okay. It's I tend to go for farmhouse shabby chic, and so to me, this is very far from that. But again, it's an idea and a concept, and maybe you guys do like the brighter colors and different things. So pumpkin number one, a little bit more farmhouse with the lace. Very bright and shiny with the colors there. Okay, let me move these. I'm going to put these back here. And if you guys watched, I don't know if you guys saw the live a couple of nights ago. So I Mod Podged. This is a little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree as well. And I Mod Podged fabric sticks. Now this one, they didn't lay as smooth. I have another one that's a lot smoother. But this is just Mod Podged fabric onto the little pumpkin. I just cut it in strips and did that, which was super cute. Okay, so I have... I have two, I brought down two fabric choices. You guys tell me. The gray with the yellow. What is my hair doing? Oh my God, you guys. It's like, it's like, beam me up, Scotty. Or I've got the apples and pears. And these are left over from when I used to sew kids clothes. So super cute. Actually, I think I made a kitchen apron out of the yellow and gray. Um, which one do you guys think I should do? Pears or the yellow and gray? I like the jute too. Yes, Carolee, you can use old sweaters, you can use old LuLaRoe pants, old jeans, even like cords, old corduroys would be really cute. Um, old jeans, you could do jean pumpkins, a whole bunch of different jean pumpkins. Um, you could do, I, I mean truly, really, it's, it's whatever you guys want. I was saying earlier, flannel, uh, flannel shirts, you could do that. Yellow and gray, yellow and gray. Yellow and gray, yellow and gray. Okay, got it. Yellow and gray. Done. Okay. So let me get this poor crafting table. I tell you, I should probably get a um, protector of some sort, like something to lay down, but I've been crafting on this table for probably three years or so. And it has stuck with me as battered as I like treat this thing. All right, guys. So we're going to do that and see how we can. This just pops out just in a toothpick. All right. Try not to point the knife at me. Just in case it does slip. Okay, so again, you just need some type of hole on the top and on the bottom to put the, to be able to wrap the fabric in, inside of it. Okay, and now on the bottom, again, that's, this is the worst part because it sounds like fingers coming down a chalkboard. Maybe if I do it in a square and not, who says it has to be a circle? Let's do it in a rectangle or a square. Be much easier, right? Okay. Pop, pop goes the weasel. Did it come out? Nope. It's, it's on its white side, so I couldn't see it. All right, guys, so, man, this is the hardest part of the entire craft. Oh, what just fell down my leg? Oh. I just had something go down my leg and I'm thinking snake. <laughs> if you guys didn't see the beginning of my life. Oh my God. I had a snake in my craft room and now I'm like, it was a baby, baby, baby snake. Like tiny, like looks like it may have just hatched. But still, it was a snake, you guys. Not playing around. Okay. So with this, I'm going to literally, let me pull... I'm not cutting it until I know I've got it positioned well. Okay, so that's gonna be a little much. So let's go ahead and cut. I know that will be okay. 
yeah, I made a kitchen apron out of this. I had a, a client at the boutique who she owned a hair salon and at Christmas every year, um, she would, you know, have a little party for all of her stylists and she would give them aprons, half aprons. So I guess maybe they could wear it while they were cutting hair or maybe that was just, it was just a nice unique thing to give. And so um, I made, I think like 12 different aprons and this was one of the fabrics that she chose. And I love it because grays and yellows are so pretty. I love those colors together. Cut it in a round circle, yes. That would have been smart, Missy. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying, Missy. See, and this is why I need friends like you because even when I sewed, you know what's funny is I would always ask my husband for help because um, I have no spatial skills. And so I would look at something and go, okay, I need it to be like this. And if I flip it this way, how does it work? And he would go, oh my goodness, honey. Like, and so he has mega, um, mega spatial skills. And I'm, I'm kind of a, I've got to do it. Hopefully I'm not cutting this too short. We shall see. The great thing is, is I've got plenty of fabric. Not that I want to waste any fabric. But that's not a complete circle. That's... Okay. Let's see. So again, you guys can learn from me. <laughs> so that when you guys go to do this, now you're gonna have pleating um, when you do this because it's just, it's virtually impossible and probably not worth your time to do it without the pleating, I'm just saying. So just be prepared. When I say pleating, there's gonna be parts that are not um, perfect. You're gonna see um, see how that's kind of wrinkled? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little wrinkled at the top. That's the pleating I'm talking about. Okay. And I'm okay with that because, again, it gives it kind of this rustic-y um, look to it. So you have to decide whether or not you're okay with it and if, you know, that's how you want your pumpkin to be. I should have, true, if I was really sewing this, I'd put darting in it and all that stuff. But, okay. So for this one, I probably would pin, um, pin it, because I do have one little piece here that is super, you know what, I can take that straight pin I had earlier or you could glue it or whatever, but I'm just gonna take that straight pin, oops, wrong place, and uh, pin it to the pumpkin. There we go. Okay, you guys, now we can edge that out. But super cute, I love it. This was a good idea, you guys. All right, and then we can push the styrofoam, right? So for this one, I mean, again, different ideas. Um, for this one, I would probably take a piece of bark out of my yard and literally take the styrofoam piece out and have that piece of bark just sticking out and tie ribbon around it. Um, I don't really know um, if I have, I don't think I have anything that would signify a piece of bark per se, so I can show you guys what I'm thinking. But, let me see. Just because I want you guys to see what I would do is just tie ribbons. And I've got all different, well these won't match this, but all different kinds of ribbons or the lace. A wood stock with just lace on it would be very pretty. Um, I'm wondering if, we did, I mean, you guys can imagine, like if you had a wood stock sitting out like this, right? 
right? It's not going to be tall enough. I would go outside right now and get a piece of a stick or something, but I don't want y'all to have to wait. But so you get your piece of bark, right? And what I'll do is I'll finish it and take a photo of it so you guys can see it. Take a piece of bark and then I'm going to take some of that lace, tie it around and then just have it sitting coming off the edges. What do you guys think? Are you loving it? What do you guys think? Give me some feedback. Yay or nay? I'm really trying to make sure that stays. So you can pin those in. Um, if you're going to give it to anybody who has kids, I would be careful with the pins. Here we go. Yes. Yay. Look, cute little, a cute, if it was, I could paint that, right? Oh, good. I'm so glad. You guys, this was basically it tonight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this one off with the vision that I have in my head so that you guys can see it and I'll take photos of it. As you guys know, I always post photos of my finished projects um, so that you guys can see them um, and get the idea. Again, I have one more pumpkin left and I still have the other sleeves to the pumpkins or to the sweaters um, and those ideas. I mean, there's just so much that can be done. So I'm trying to think if there's, hold on, I'll show you guys. Um, these were the two, three pumpkins we did tonight. No, none of them match, I know, but it's just to give you guys a variety of ideas because everybody has a little bit of different taste, right? So if you guys enjoyed this craft tonight and you would like to continue following me, you can type the word craft in the comments and that would put you into my uh, free crafting group. Um, or you can like and follow this Facebook page. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to be notified when I go live, you can type your name and the words notify me to this number. And I will set you up in my text notifying uh, system. All right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, this has been Mia with... Um, Chalk with Mia and Southern Willow Crafting. I hope that you have a great time chalking and crafting. All right, everybody. Bye.